The 2016 reboot of Doom is a game that deserves your attention. It's a game that I played for a short amount of time back in 2016 when it first released, a game that I did not own on launch day. But I decided to boot up this game a few weeks ago for no particular reason at all, and I have been playing it constantly ever since. With Doom Eternal announced at E3 earlier this year, and the game available for $20 or less, there is no better time to pick up this game. But why am I recommending this in 2018? Well, let's dive into it. Doom is a game that defined a genre when it was first released back in 1993. Its first person mechanics were unmatched by any other games. Its fluid movement and simple controls helped to make the game accessible to nearly any player and the 2016 release is the same way. It strays away from the normal conventions of most modern FPSs, and there's a plethora of weapons for you to use to cater to any playstyle. There is no need to reload any of your weapons, because the game is based on being quick and fluid. You're able to shoot, swap weapons, strafe, and jump all in quick succession. The campaign is fast-paced, and depending on your difficulty settings, it can offer a real challenge. It's fun. Mindless, gory fun. The story is there. While it's not the most intriguing story to ever hit the genre by any means, it's still a fun experience. When I play the campaign, I focus on trying to kill anything and everything that stands in my way, using glory kills and all the weapons to maximize my utility. If you can recall the mindless fun that the original Doom brought, then you know what to expect here. Killing demons is always satisfying, in trying to find all the secrets in each level and finding the best routes, tactics, and weapons to use in a given scenario is just what keeps me coming back. This game offers much more than just a simple story mode though. Once you've had your fill of demon slaying, then you can hop into the other modes that this game has to offer. Doom's multiplayer is one that I have had a ton of fun playing. Much like the campaign, multiplayer offers the same mindless fun but in an online setting. From free for all deathmatches to infection like modes to more objective based modes, I can't really seem to find a dull moment. The game offers a ton of customization from your specific armor pieces to armor colors, weapon classes, and weapon customization. This game is always giving you something to work for. And the ranking system is simple, but yet a welcome addition to a genre where games like COD will force you to reset your level once you hit max rank just to get a few extra benefits. In Doom, when you hit max level, which is 50, you don't have to select a prestige option. No, this game will automatically put you at the next tier of levels. But don't worry, your weapons and anything else that you've unlocked will stay with you. So no matter what, you will never lose anything that you've earned in your time playing. All the game modes are fun, entertaining, and filled with gore. You'll soon learn which weapons are best for a given scenario, but every single weapon is a viable option. There is no definitive overpowered gun. Each gun offers unique abilities and can kill your enemies quickly when used correctly. The multiplayer offers the same mechanics as campaign, so little to no reloading, quick fluid movements and glory kills to humiliate and decimate your opponents. Playing as a demon in multiplayer is also a ton of fun. You get some unique abilities and can quickly kill enemies. But be warned, once you're possessed by a demon, enemies will try their hardest to bring you down. And they're going to try to steal that demon room from you. Even better, all DLC is now free. So there are no maps or modes that are locked behind a paywall. Everything is available to you. You can unlock the same customization that used to be locked behind a season pass and the players are not divided by this aspect. So finding a game is relatively easy and I don't usually have to wait too long. But if you do get your fill of normal multiplayer, then you can try out the snap map feature. Much like Forge in the Halo series, snap maps lets the community create maps and modes for all to enjoy, from horde style survival modes to story missions created by the community, there is always new content available to play free of charge. 
For the current price of this game, I'd say it's a no-brainer to try to pick up a copy of Doom and play it for yourself. The game offers hours of mindless fun. I'll be sure to pick up Doom Eternal when it releases, as this series is one that I can always find fun in. From campaign to multiplayer and snap maps, content is plentiful. Do me a favor, if you pick up this game, come back to this video and let me know your opinions. I promise you'll find something you'll enjoy in this game. And that's gonna do it for this video. Do you own Doom? Are you gonna pick it up? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, I want to give a special shout out to the people who support me over on Patreon. Super fans like Luke Coetzee help me keep making content and help me afford more equipment to enable me to make more quality videos. Be sure to check out the Patreon page in the description down below or even click the join option under this video for even more ways to support the channel. As always, this is optional. So thank you for watching, and if you like this video, be sure to hit this like button and subscribe for more content. Thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheerio, mates!